Hello everyone and welcome back. If you're new, welcome for the first time. Today we're going to be playing some of the lab. So in the last episode, we checked out the calibration cores and the arrows and one of these. Uh, today we're going to explore a little bit more. Hey there, little buddy. Uh, I wanted to uh, remind you guys, if any of you have, this is not your first video and you hadn't already hit that subscribe button, what's holding you back, man? Or lady, whichever it may be. Uh, if you do want to see more of this kind of thing and you've seen what I do, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. But um, what are we going to start out on? Let's, yeah, let's start out with this. I told you we were going to check this out and I'm going to, I'm going to actually do it. Robots. Okay, uh, pick up the ship to start the game. Oh, hey! That's neat. It makes noise as I move. Okay, uh, just for simplicity's sake, I think we're going to start out with Classic. And I think this is some kind of wave shooter. Aim at enemies to shoot. Okay, that seems simple enough. Oh, they're starting to shoot back. Okay, that's not too bad. Oh, more orbs to charge the laser. Okay. Boom. Boom. Now, pardon me if I do start trailing off here a little bit every now and then. It does seem like it's going to be a little bit difficult to uh, keep track of what's going on in-game and what's going on with you guys. Pull the trigger to activate the laser. I think I might give it a minute because I think I'm doing pretty good as is. Okay, take boss time. Oh, that doesn't look too bad. Really not that bad. I guess that's what you get for wave one on a shooter. Oh, come on back. We were having fun. That doesn't look like fun. That looks like that's about to be a massive pain. It's kind of hard to keep track of those. All these other things are moving, which is nice. But uh, things that wall off whole sections kind of scare me. Might as well keep grabbing these. Okay, starting to get a little bit worried. There's a, quite a few of these. Oh, and it looks like we have to... Oh, and I'm down. I let one too many of them bump me. Let's try that again. Starts out pretty darn easy in the beginning. I guess those are mini bosses that give you the uh, charge up. Or maybe it's just after a certain number of enemies. Yeah. Kinda like this. You know, considering some games that you pay for are just this, I think getting the lab for free is just amazing. If uh, you do have VR and you haven't already picked it up, what are you doing? Pick up the lab, it's free. I just got all kinds of cool mini games. Okay, so he does not lead his target at all. moving in nice lazy circles I stay in front of it. It's nice. Oh, no! A laser! Okay. Looks like a mini boss. Let's get rid of these guys because they will creep up on me super duper quick. Oh, come on. There we go. You know, this kind of feels like a rhythm game. At least a little bit. Because it's it's kind of a dance. And I guess the biggest rule is don't go where you've already been. Okay, that almost 
I think we're gonna call it quits for now. We may revisit this again in the near future, try out infinite mode, see if we can actually beat classic mode. Yeah, we'll, we'll do that. Let's go check out somewhere else around the lab. Test Traveler has successfully returned in Pocket Universe Lab 8. Congratulations, Test Traveler. And we're back. Let's uh, warp around here. So I did try this one earlier today and it absolutely would not load. Uh, this one here, I'm gonna work on that. I don't know how to actually do that one, but uh, I'll bring that to you first chance that I get. But let's check out the solar system. See if they've got Pluto in here. Floating in a big old pile of outer space. Let's 
go check out some planets. And that's the sun. Oh, who are you? You're Mercury. I'm back here. Oh, you're too fast. I'll catch Mercury again when it comes back. And this looks like Venus. It is. Keep moving around, see if we can find home. Hey there, Mercury. Zipping right around, aren't you? Hey, look, it's Earth. Can you see your house from here? <laughs> oh, that was bright. Let's see, Venus, is that Mars? Hello, little slowpoke. Mars. Nice. So this is this is a real scale what the universe well not the universe solar system looks like I'll check you out hello Jupiter what was that was that one of these rocks or was that oh that was one of them that's neat Let's see if we can uh... oh there we go there's the spot inside oh wow super super bright <sighs> not gonna do that again or probably not okay next orbit Saturn and its glorious rings oh went through it I kind of wish I could zoom on zoom in oh no no come back go back go back to your home should it okay <laughs> now that we can do that uh let's uh finish checking out the planets and then cause some havoc yep the one that everybody likes to make fun of because of its silly name oh is it, is it coming back oh lost it there it is Hopefully, if I get it close enough to home, it'll come back home. Go home. There we go. <laughs> That's a lot better. So, I'm not seeing an orbit for Pluto. I mean, there's a Neptune here. And Neptune has rings. I keep forgetting that. And they're so faint, you can barely see them. Pluto is out there somewhere on a not so in our plane orbit. They went through all the trouble to model all these other rocks. You'd think they'd have Pluto. Oh, almost had it. I got a marble. This is absolutely. Can I just drop it on its. Oh, I can hold it in one spot. That's neat. Mercury, Venus, Earth. Oh, okay. That, that keeps going. Oh, I hit a wall. Earth and Mars. You can totally fit Mars inside of Earth. Let's see what Mars would look like against the sun and Earth. It kind of rolls around up there. Here comes Venus. I think I'm going to throw all the planets under the sun for a size comparison. Come on. You can do it. Boom, Venus. Bop. Okay, let's go find something bigger. Saturn. To the sun with you. Ah, huh, interesting. And Jupiter can join you. Jupiter didn't make it all the way. I don't think Saturn did either. Whoa. Oops. Is there a reset button? Because I done lost some planets. Grab that again? No. 
Where'd you go? I swear I saw one of them out here. Okay, there it is. Throw it like a frisbee. Yeah. Point. So apparently planets throw better like frisbees than, say, any other kind of ball. Well, fr no, frisbee's not a ball, but you get the idea. Can I make the shot? It looks like I can't. It's just too, too far. So this is supposed to be a true scale universe. And if you remember, I think this one was Earth. Nope, that's Venus. That one's Earth. Venus and Earth are surprisingly similarly sized. Uranus here, it's way bigger. I like how I can just kind of stick planets to the surface of the sun. I need to get more in the middle of my play area. So you guys quit seeing that. So there they are. All the planets. All stuffed under the sun. I know I said I wasn't going to do this again, but I'm going to stick my head inside and see what the sun looks like on the inside. Ah! Well, it is a big ball of burning gas. Yeah, this was neat. Okay, let's uh, head on back and see what else there is. Test traveler okay, so we just checked that out. Has returned from an experiment. Let's see. Oh, nice. Relative orbital distances, you probably don't want to walk that far. Agreed. Is there like a skull I can just kind of play with? Oh, the doggy likes it. Go get it. Oh, wow. He will actually... That is Artificial creepy as all bomb. get out. Just been in he actually plays fetch with the skull. Congratulations, test traveler. A relic has been excavated in Universe Lab 56. That is so creepy. I don't... I don't know that I'm gonna... No, I'm, I'm, I'm taking this away. You can't run at me with the skull in your mouth again. That's bad. But I, I like you anyway. That doesn't look safe at all. What is this? It makes noise too. Oh, that's too cool. Will he play fetch with the earth? Oh, he totally does. I don't remember what the... Oh, the bones from the human body over there. Oh, you've lost the earth. Oh, there's that balloon thing that we were playing with. this oh what oh it shoots nerf darts I want one of these I want one of these so bad like real life I want one can I shoot one of those guys oh I've maybe caused a production malfunction Okay, I'm done. Carry on. 
that was that was quick and easy. Let's uh go check out one of these environments. You can see I've already got the lava tubes picked out. I want to check those out, and I want to take you guys with me. Once again, I am not going to try to pronounce that. That sounds like it'd be a very, very bad idea. Uh, I don't know how to pronounce things like that. I'm not from wherever that is. Oh, hey, it's a lava tube. Lava was going through this tube. It's raining on the snow. Neat. This is crazy. Imagine coming up against, well, finding one of these. Oh, hey. And it randomly picks a color. I guess that's for, um, I guess demonstrating how tall this place is. It's pretty big. Just imagine coming across all this. This has been here for freaking ever. But look at all that stuff on there. Oh, hey, there's a place I can go. And that's as far as I can go, which stinks, but it is absolutely beautiful. Yeah, I've only got these three places I can go. It looks like somebody has made a walkway here for folks to come check out, which would be really cool. If you live near here and you can go check it out, I would absolutely recommend it. I, like I said, I can't exactly pronounce the name of the place, but it should have been on screen long enough for you to figure that one out. Cool. Anyway, guys, uh, I think uh, this is where we're going to end it for the day. I wanted to thank you for joining yet again. Uh, if you did like this, you're one of those new guys, you want to see some, something more kind of like this, you know, let me know. Hit that subscribe button. Leave me a comment. If you've got suggestions for good VR games, leave it down below and I will check it out. I want to once again thank you for joining me and I will see you guys in the next one.